The new Seed Driver app is now available for iOS and Android. Um, when we go ahead and launch the Driver app, it's going to be your existing login. If you have access to multiple branches, it will show you those branches and you can select which um, catalog you want to go into. Um, once you select your catalog, it'll show you your routes. If you notice some of the routes are grayed out, that means that there is no schedule created for those routes. If I click on the route, uh, it shows me I have two schedules for that route. The one for today's date, I can start, and then any for a future date, I can only view. So if the driver wanted to look and see what was scheduled for tomorrow, they can click on view and look at that, but they cannot service anything. So I'm going to go back to today's schedule. I'm going to go ahead and start that. So here we list all of the assets that are scheduled for the day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select the snack machine. Um, so if you notice, we have a pick list now. Um, so you can see everything that's supposed to be going into that machine. If you are picking off of the truck instead of pre-kitting, um, as you're picking it, you can slide it over so that you know that those items were picked. I go back to machine. If this was an offline machine, um, and I was using the blue snap device, um, I can click on DEX and it will DEX that machine. If we go into the cash tab, this is where you'll record your bag number. If your coin bags have barcodes on them, you can click the little barcode icon and scan your bag number. It'll populate that for you. Um, you'll also record your coin refill. In this case, for this machine, we can see our coin mech should have $50 in it. I'm going to go ahead and put a roll of quarters, which would be $10. If I had a recycler and I was refilling that, I would record that. If I did any refunds, I'll put $1.25. I'm giving back to the customer. Didn't do any test spends. And then the sales meter is for offline machines. Uh, you'll only see that on offline machines. This is where you record the meter from that machine. Then once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and click back on machine. And if I put the bag number in, I can see that there's a green check mark on the cash tab. So I know that was completed. On the service inventory, uh, you can see that that exclamation mark is there. That means that the inventory is required on this machine. Um, and also, so this is a pull and replace for the, for the lays. We're filling those up. If we select the, the two arrows, um, it'll show us what we're removing. So for the Doritos, um, I had one bag of spoils and I had two good ones that I'm taking out. So that I'll record that. I'm going to click back on A0. It's going to take me back to the Lay's regular. I'm filling 10 of them and then I'm going to inventory it at 10. Okay, and then I'll go to the next column and record any spoils, any outdated, adjust my fills, and do the inventory. It's important to point out when doing the inventory, the inventory cannot be less than the number in the fill. So in this particular case, where the fill is 8, I put a 7 in there. It gives me a red box around it, and it says inventory must not be less than 8. So I can do 8. I can do 9, I can do 10, but I cannot do 12 because that exceeds capacity. Once I've completed my inventory, I'll click back on machine. I see that I have a green checkbox. That means that the inventory has fully been done. And then next step would be to take a photo. So click on the photo. Click the little camera icon and then hit save. If there's any notes, uh, we can go ahead and put those notes in. Um, if there was uh, needs a light bulb, anything like that. If the office put notes in for you, um, they'll show up under the inbox, so you'll see any notes on that machine. Okay, and then once our notes in there, we can hit back on machine, um, and then we'll go ahead and hit that done button. Once we click that done button, it's saving everything. And now that machine is on the service tab.
If there's an asset that is not scheduled and needs an inventory, you can click on the barcode in the top right corner. Um, you can type in the asset ID if you know that, or you can start typing the customer. So the asset does have to be on the route that you're logged into in order to pull that up. So it says this asset's not scheduled for service today. Are you sure you want to proceed? And I go ahead and say proceed. And then if I go to the service inventory tab, I can adjust the inventory for that machine. And then once that inventory is done, I would go ahead and take a photo and click the done button. For markets, um, if we went into our beverage cooler, um, obviously there, the cash tab is grayed out um, because the market sections don't take cash. But a new feature that we added, so on this service inventory tab, if we click on that, we have this barcode in the top right corner. So if I click on that, I can scan a barcode. It takes me to that item. And I can adjust the fills or the inventory on that. For the market kiosks, the only thing on those would be the cash tab. So you put, put your bag number in. If there's no refunds, no test spends, go back to machine. You can take a photo of it and you hit done. For delivery points, so we can go to a, a delivery order. Uh, we can click on the, the order. Um, make any adjustments if this was a pre-built pre order. Um, say I didn't get 40 frappuccinos, I only got 24. I can make that adjustment. And then if I'm picking it off the truck, I can slide it over so I know that that was picked as well. And then same here. Go to the invoice. Customer can sign that. All right, hit the green checkbox. Go back to delivery. You can take a photo if needed, add any notes, and then when you hit done, that invoice will be finalized and the customer will get a copy of that invoice. At the end of the day, you'll go to the service tab and click the end day button. At this point, it'll ask you, are you sure you want to end your day? Say continue. It shows that five assets were serviced and five assets were uploaded. So at this point, it is okay to sign out and say yes. It is very important that you sign out at the end of the day and log in to your schedule the next morning.